Greetings everyone. This is about art education and art integrated learning in CBC schools. So CBC has mandated learning outcome based teaching learning process in all CBC schools. NCRT has prepared several learning outcomes based on different subjects. So this learning outcome based teaching learning process is enable all stakeholders to follow competency based education. Why this competency based education? To prepare the children for the 21st century. Through this competency based education CBC aims at promoting the reflective ability, critical thinking, creativity, initiation, self-direction etc. in children. So it is to make students for 21st century by empowering competencies to understand, analyze, evaluate and interpret and innovate various real life situations that they require to face in the world outside the classroom or an environment beyond their schools and homes. So why this art integrated learning in schools to make children competent for the 21st century? So what is this art integration? It is a cross curricular pedagogical approach that utilizes various aspects and forms of art and culture as the basis for experiencing the learning of concepts across subjects. So art integration here means the different aspects of art and culture to inculcate in different subjects to convey different concepts. When we teach the children a concept, we can teach that concept through any art form or cultural form that is suitable for conveying that concept. So this is for an experiential learning. Art integrated education will be embedded in the classroom transactions not only for creating joyful classrooms but also for imbibing the Indian ethos through integration of Indian art and culture. So the primary purpose of art integrated learning is to make a classroom joyful. Along with that we can impart Indian art and culture in children. Art integrated approach will strengthen the likeness between education and culture. So this is to combine these two factors together, education and culture. So art integrated learning as a pedagogical tool for experiential and joyful learning in classroom situation. This is the primary purpose of art integrated learning. It's a pedagogical tool for experiential and joyful learning to make the classroom more joyful and make the children experience the concept through art. So the art integration guidelines for board enlisted various suggestive activities. For that suggestive activities, projects, assignments and lesson plans, it is available with this CBC site. When we click that link, we are directed to this art integration towards experiential learning. This is the link given there. Look at the contents. Rich cultural heritage of India, art education, art education, suggestions for schools, 
ആർട്സ് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ലേണിംഗ് ദ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ജോയ്ഫുൾ പെഡഗോഗി ആർട്ട് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആർട്ട് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ സോഷ്യൽ സയൻസ് ആർട്ട് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് സയൻസ് എക്സെട്രാ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ആർട്ട് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് പ്രോജക്ട് ഫോർ ക്ലാസ്സസ് വൺ ടു ടെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഡിസൈഡ് അറ്റ് to introduce art integrated project work for classes 1 to 10 to promote art integrated learning in schools to make teaching learning competency based and joyful so as per this project at least one art integrated project in each subject shall be taken up by all students of classes 9 and 10 from the academic session 2021 so at least one art integrated project for all subjects each subject has to be submitted to cbse site and the students of class 1 to 8 will be encouraged to take at least one art integrated project that is transdisciplinary project transdisciplinary project here means 1 to 8 class students all the subjects can mix together and make one project but for 9th and 10th if five subjects they are studying they have to present five projects but for one to it is transdisciplinary projects for the entire year they have to submit only one project it is an integration of all the subjects together and they prepare one project this is what cbc wants art integrated project may be conducted as per the following guidelines look at class 1 to 8 art integrated project should be transdisciplinary which means project work can include more than one subject and that project can be considered for internal assessment in the subject concerned how many subjects they have chosen for the project all the subjects can be taken the mark for internal assessment regarding class 9th and 10th the students will take up the art integrated project work as subject enrichment activity so this art integrated project is a subject enrichment activity that is to be done in all subjects if they study five subjects they have to do five projects and it can be considered for internal assessment one of the objectives of art integrated education is to make students aware of the vast and diverse cultural heritage of our country therefore students will take up integration with any form of indian art so any form of indian art they can use for this art integrated education it can be visual or performing arts also as it will be helpful to students to easily understand the project that is culturally connected to them the only thing is when we select the project we have to select as accordingly culturally connected with these children teachers need to facilitate learning of the chosen indian art form and ensure that students are able to creatively integrate the art forms being used in the project so teachers can facilitate the students to integrate the particular art form in the project appropriately minimum on project work students of 1 to 10 that is mandatory to integrate any art form of the paired state or ut so one project for example here 1 to 8 classes only one project and for 
9th and 10th classes they have to submit as according to how many subjects they are studying if it is five subjects five projects out of that five projects one should be based on the paired state or union territory how can we find that paired state or union territory that is available in the ek for the shreshth bharat program in this link we will get the paired um, states art integrated project work of students of the schools in the state of delhi will be based on the art form of sikkim this is one example delhi students their projects will be based on the art forms of sikkim so a 9th or 10th class student should submit one project out of how many subjects they are studying one should be based on an art form of sikkim so we have to find out the paired state or union territories subject teachers along with art teachers must plan so this is about the plan subject teachers can take the assistance of art teachers to design the project and it should be prepared in advance at the beginning of the academic session so that students can be given proper guidance to undertake various projects the focus should be on research of new topics so their recommendation is we have to give a new topics not at taken up by the classroom so variety is one of the key demand of this art integrated learning process we have to give new topics teachers must facilitate exploration of research on the topic to give students hands on experience so as according to the level and the understanding of the students teacher should select the topic the project should be taken up in an eco friendly manner which means readily available local resources should be used no financial burden for parents or guardian look at the the process of embedding arts with the other subjects this is a four step method given here we will discuss a detailed method of embedding art with the subjects in another video now let us move on the project should be done by students in groups so the project should be group based each subject and each class the project should be based on group basis four to five students can be in a group so our intention is not to projects should not be too much pro art if it is too much pro art if you give too much importance to art it is very difficult for the subject teacher to carry it out the project should be simple doable for the subject teachers and the students without the assistance of art teachers and the artist or others so the selection of the art should be very simple and don't go in detail of the art pro art is not our concern our concern is to convey the concept through the art so a simple and doable art form can be chosen assessment technique that should be relevant and age appropriate some criteria along with the rubrics for assessment can be devised take for example one rubrics this is a rubrics grading rubrics for art integrated project developing skills at grade level 
understanding and application of concepts in a project don't give much importance to the art form our focus should be on the concept that we are going to convey the concept that we are going to teach the students through the art so the freedom is with the children they can do any kind of art don't consider the perfection of the art because each child is unique let them do it in their own way our aim is to convey the concept through an art form so the importance is the concept and not the art form then students must be informed about the criteria desired for assessment maximum marks of the commencement of work on the project that should be given to the students and the schools and the teachers may prepare a calendar by assigning dates and months for the execution of the project by the students and records of assessment of this project work should be maintained at the school so when we give the project we have to give the exact date by which the students are supposed to complete the project and we have to keep the records of assessment the rubrics and lesson plan and what they did for example if they did in a drama form we have to keep certain photographs of the performance if it is a painting we have to keep that painting so like that we have to keep the records for assessment it has to be kept in custody for one year next the art integrated project work shall also be an integral part of assessing the students participation in art related activities and attainment of learning outcomes for the subjects next point is art integrated project work shall be an integral part of assessing the students participation in the art related activities and the attainment of learning outcomes for the subjects so how much learning outcome he or she has attained through the related activities that is to be given importance then the marks awarded for this subject enrichment activities for class 10 will be collected by the board at the time of uploading marks of internal assessment so each subject teacher should keep the marks of this art project as internal assessment mark of each subject art integrated learning or ail as a pedagogical tool from classes 1 to 12 this is what till now it said the schools are required to upload the data so we have to upload the data of art education and art integrated learning projects of students in the ae and ail portal at the link in this link we have to upload all the data so the required data regarding implementation of art education up to class 10 that is the first data second data is art integrated project up to class 10 then implementation of art integrated learning up to class 12 are to be uploaded so three kinds of data we have to upload one is 1 to 8 then 9 to 10 then 11 and 12th this much data we have to upload it to the cbc site by the school to enable it to download the admit cards for classes 10 and 12th exams of the board 
The report format of data submission is available at Annexure 3. So how to report format of data that is available with the Annexure 3. So for classes 1 to 8, the transdisciplinary project that is the integration of all subjects together under one project from one class for 9 to 10 all the subjects should have one project and 11th and 12th all subjects have one project this much data we have to upload the link to upload AE and AL data will be available at the CBC site. The schools may use the same username and password that they have used for registration and filling up LOC candidates to access AE AIL portal meant for data submission. After successful uploading the AE and AIL data an AEAL confirmation number will be generated and the schools will be able to download admit cards after filling the AE and AIL confirmation number at the column specified for it. The printout of AE and AIL need not be sent to the CBSE or regional offices. Now let us check the Annexure 1, Annexures 2 and Annexure 3s. Pairing of states and union territories. Jammu Kashmir, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Ladakh, Punjab, Andhra Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Kerala, Uttarakhand, Karnataka, Haryana, Telangana, Rajasthan, Assam, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh. Like this, the list goes. Annexure 2nd. It is also important because when we upload the details of the projects in the CBC sites, we have to mention on which category the art activities belong to. For example, 4.1 that is visual arts, 4.111 two dimensional, two dimensional or pictorial activities. So 4.111 study of visual resources. This is the topic integration, environment studies, science, languages, etc. If it is a two dimensional project like that 41111 study of lines, strokes, etc. That is for mathematics, physics, textile design, fashion studies, etc. Like that it goes on 4.118 9 10 11 then here 2.12 2, second section this is three dimensional or sculptural activities art activity here is 4.12 first one study of basic forms in clay that is three dimensional art form. So several three dimensional art forms are there. Look. Then 4.13 assignments. Suggested activities. 4.13 is also so many activities are given there. So in which category our project belongs to that we have to mention this number along with the project when we upload in the CVC site. These are only suggestive. Suggestive projects. We can select the art or art forms as, as according to our interest. Look at this. activities
these are group activities for languages for different subjects this is an extra three we have to fill up all these columns to upload the projects or data so in the next video we will discuss how to use this art forms in classrooms for that to get the notification on time subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching the video